So it's, it is such a you're in control career. If you put something into it, you're going to get something awesome back. Wise words from a 21-year-old artist, but Jordan Pearson is speaking from experience. A first-year alumni at Red Year College's visual arts program, she has already landed two professional exhibits here in Alberta. One at the Harris Work Gallery in Red Deer, another at the Carrot in Edmonton. That was six weeks of oil landscapes, pretty much all winter, uh, larger scale and really successful. I had about 17 or 18 paintings that fit into the space. I'm a nature girl. Um, I do a lot of hiking and camping and backpacking trips in the summer um, and I ski in the winter. So I'm a huge on outdoors. So that naturally finds its way into my work. Landing gigs off the hop doesn't happen for everyone, but Pearson can still relate to the starving artist stereotype, despite her shotgun success, working part-time as an art instructor at the paint spot here in Edmonton to help make ends meet. To the surface below, so now it's one layer instead of two. Yeah, it's definitely something a lot of students hear, which I think is unfortunate, but it's true. It's hard to make money and pay the rent and the car bills with it. But I, if I hadn't gotten a couple shows, it definitely would be a little bit discouraging being like, oh, I'm painting, I'm painting, what are they for? Who are they going to? Who's going to see them? And according to her former instructor, Robin Lambert, overcoming the stigma and uncertainty is something students like Pearson are prepared for in their classes. We are a two-year program. We know that not all students go on to a four-year program afterwards, so we want to arm them with uh, knowledge of how to apply for shows, how to apply for grants, how to apply for jobs how to post-secondary education, that sort of stuff. Though he does admit Pearson's determination may have pushed her further than most. A lot of people go on to a place like Emily Carr ACAD um, before they, or U of A, and then become successful where, and I suggested that to Jordan, but she really had her own path set for her. She wanted to go back to Edmonton, she wanted to make work, and she just wanted to have a job on the side. And that's exactly what she's doing. Maybe you're thinking it's her artistic abilities that have gotten her recognized. Or maybe it's her combo of smarts, talent, and drive. Um, one of my instructors constantly reminded me, Jordan, you have to put in your 10,000 hours. You have to put it in. Because um, after 10,000 hours, that's when the dedication is there and the skill comes with it. I think something really important that everyone needs to know, even in other careers, is that you get out of it what you put in. If you work hard, you'll get something great in return. If you don't work hard and you don't produce work, well, then nothing's going to happen. For Shaw TV, I'm Brianne McLaughlin.